Hey, welcome back. This is Michael George speaking. This is Para 231, Differentiated Instruction in Classroom Management. Today I will be covering three topics, and they are communication with students and parents, organization of the classroom, and classroom behavior. It is very important that the students and the parents are aware that they, they are in a differentiated classroom than a traditional one. The reason why, because the traditional is instructed by a teacher and the differentiated one, it revolves around the student and the, their development learning. Communication about differentiated, differentiated instruction with the students should be established at the very beginning within the semester because it will set, it's basically setting a stone or setting a structure for the class. And it's very important to inform the parents about their child they are in a differentiated classroom because they know everything they all know the background their learning development age they know their child it's their child so they best know of their interests and how kind of character they are within the school and within at home and the next topic is organization of the classroom as a paraprofessional or as a teacher, you'll be setting the environment for the students, and, the, and that is classroom management. You are able and you will manage the, the layout of it within the classroom that is fluid with the students, that doesn't revolve the teacher, that revolves in a differentiated classroom, so that it's very student-centered, so everything will be accessible to the student. And within this environment, you'll be using floor space, material storage, and also wall space. With the amount of floor space and the, the amount of functional use of your floor, that is, is your floor able to be collaborative without disrupting the whole class and is able to have amount of fluidity for each student or whole group, small group, individualized, and each has, each has a character setting or each has a placement setting. Organization um, and material storage is a major key, especially when it has labels, it is easily recognized and easily to store and easily accessible for each student with, I don't know, within their reach or a person or a, or a student don't have to walk like across the room to be able to get it. It should be like in a well uh, organized and a well balanced within the class. The amount of wall space you use is very important as well because you don't want your uh, walls to be very cluttered or very distracting for the students. What you really want is to post or use a wall that reflects and is uh, relevant to the learning lessons or the structure or whatever you guys are going through. Like you, you have charts, rubrics, hint cards, or anything that revolves with the content of work. Setting the classroom behavior was very important and it should be established through rules and procedures. Uh, the reason why, because children, they learn from each other and they will follow monkey see, monkey do. If a student behaves in a bad way, chances are a student's going to behave in a bad way. If you set like a cultural behavior, uh, a student will pick up and will follow a student who is well behaved with their friends or it's all setting a good behavioral rule within the student's the reason why behavior is important because it's all development and growth of their character and it should be it should be monitored very well uh students will watch they watch what we do when we watch what they say and they also um they look at our moods as well and if they see if we're happy or not or how we behave as well also the amount of feedback you give is very important a, sh a student should know and a student should feel they are a good a student and compared to like a bad student uh, the amount of feedback you give it, it creates a growth of the student it's like you know when you train a dog i mean i'm not children are not dogs but you know when you train a dog the amount of good feedback and the amount of the good your the animal is able to recognize that emotion and that good feeling same thing with us humans we're very social so there's a lot of indications that good behavior will pursue uh good knowledge and good ethics and as for my application from this content I would really like to think about my behavior from uh, think about my behavior and what I project 
amongst these students as a paired professional because students they really watch what we do they really watch what we say and they really watch our feelings as well so our emotions are a big part of this role they will pick up they will under they will understand and they will recognize our emotions so the best i would like to project um, an emotion and a feeling amongst these students that i'm truly interested within their learning and as they are as a as a student and I want to make them feel comfortable with my happy and enthusiastic behavior. And I'm very excited within this future that I have. And it is a true blessing. And my question for further knowledge uh, is how, what is how would you show the amount of like the amount of emotion and the amount of good enthusiasm within yourself to teach these students?